Welcome back, Crusaders. I'm TJ Blattle. And I'm Amelia Reeves. Bringing you another edition of Crusader Nation News. This past weekend has been full of sports, as the varsity boys football demolished Normandy, making it 2-0 on the season. But that wasn't all. Boys soccer played in the Metro League tournament and came out in first place. Way to go, Crusader athletes. Last week, a historic game took place at St. Dominic as Crusader softball played the first ever night game for baseball and softball at St. Dominic High School. It was an exciting evening as Wednesday night lights took place on the diamond. We look forward to many more games under the lights this fall and spring. Tonight, softball takes on Corriezu at 4, girls tennis matches up against Notre Dame at 3.30, and girls volleyball plays Timberland at 5. On Thursday, boys soccer takes on Fort Zumwalt West at 6.30. This week, some of the seniors traveled off for the first senior retreat of the year. This first group enjoyed bonding with their peers and growing closer in their relationship with God. We are so excited to see what the rest of the retreats will have in store for the class of 2025. An exciting event that started on Monday is the News Channel 5 Tackle for Hunger Food Drive. St. Dominic will get the chance to compete with Borgia in a friendly competition to raise food donations. The school with the heaviest weight donation wins. The winners will be announced on the 10 o'clock news on Friday, and if we meet our goal of 10,000 canned goods by Thursday, we will celebrate by having a dress down day on Friday. Also, a big congratulations to the cast of Pride and Prejudice. There are two shows with two casts this year, and we are so excited to see this novel come to life. Good luck and break a leg. As well as the cast, there are also crew positions available. Crew helps design the show and put the show together. Contact or see Ms. Hobbs in the PAC for more information. Another way to put some creative work in is to help with your house's stained glass window project. This is a house competition and needs to be hung by 945 on September 16th. Don't delay and make sure it's creative as the winner will receive 20 points for their house. Homecoming week kicks off next Monday. We will celebrate by having our homecoming pep rally and our game on Friday and our dance on Saturday. Don't forget to check your email for the ticket link. With the purchase of a ticket, you also get a shirt that will be delivered to you in family time. As well as the Saturday festivities, we will have a full week of fun. We will have dress up days throughout the week. Monday is country versus country club. Tuesday is rhyme without reason. Wednesday is a mass day. Thursday is neon day. And Friday, freshmen and juniors will wear white. Sophomores and seniors will wear blue. It's an exciting week. And lastly, in case you didn't notice, our hallways are a tad crowded. Our own Isaac Branson took it upon himself to do you all a favor and show you the outdoor paths you can take to ease up on the hallway jams. Let's take a look. Good day, students. My name is Isaac Branson, and today I'm gonna be showing you different outdoor routes to walk instead of clogging up the hallways in between classes. This is the T hallway. As many of you guys know, it tends to get very crowded here during passing time. Just about every hallway here at St. Dominic gets just as crowded. But don't worry, hope is not lost. There are several places to walk outside of the school buildings to get to your next class in a very timely manner. For example, if you wanted to go from the upper 400s to the lower 400s, instead of waiting on those stairs and just taking ages to get to your next class, you can just walk through these doors, walk around the building, and then go to the lower 400s through those doors. Simple as that. Now let's say you wanted to go from the lower 400s to the art room or the connector building. This sidewalk is very helpful and can allow you to get there in a very timely manner. There are plenty of other places to walk around our campus, so please use these outdoor pathways to help clear up traffic in our beautiful hallways here at St. Dominic High School. Thank you, Isaac, for that insightful journey. For more information about activities inside and outside St. Dominic, make sure to visit our website at crusadernationnews.org. And also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Crusader Nation News, as more and more content will be delivered to you in this manner. Finally, I'm TJ Blattle. And I'm Amelia Reeves. Signing, signing off. off.